What's going on, everybody? Hey, in this time of, you know, cold and no power, I just want to show you all a typical alcohol stove. I'm sure you've seen it, but just to make sure, we use these a lot for hunting and fishing and camping, and Teresa and I did a video where we cooked some, some stew on an island in the middle of a fishing day, but all it is is a tin can with some sort of paper product, like toilet paper, like I have here. You take out the center roll, squish it in. You could use napkins. You can use cotton balls. You put it in a tin can. This was a peaches can. Some people use paint cans, just any kind of a can. You fill it full of just alcohol. This stuff is like a dollar a bottle of HEB, 70% rubbing alcohol. You may have it laying around. You pour it in, you fill up all that material, whatever you put in there, it comes like a wick and it burns for hours. Check it out. And, that, and it gets hot and it burns clean. A lot of people heat cars with this when they car camp. A lot of people heat RVs with this when they RV camp. And you can kind of adjust, but if you do some kind of a metal lid, you can adjust. If you get too warm in the room, check it out, man, or let it burn hot. This could save a life, man. A lot of people seal these up and keep them in their trunk. And if they get in a bind, they can whip them out and get warm quickly. Just thought I'd put that out there because, uh, I mean, I have a ton of this alcohol back stock just in case our power goes out. And, um, Man, God bless y'all. Stay safe, stay warm, and I uh, hope this helps.